with uh, the baby mama. What was your feelings in that moment? What was your feelings in that moment? Because your face kind of, to me, was looking like, how dare you, you know, say these things to me? Because she brought up with your children as well. Yeah, um, yeah. I think for me, a lot of times, it just be the whole double standard hypocrisy of it all. You know, okay. people be wanting you to ride for them or have their back. You never, like, let's just keep it a bug. You don't see me going around asking people to ride for me or have my back. You don't. You don't. Right. You don't see me doing that, okay? Um, so for me, it was more so of like, just couldn't believe, you know, what was like that. Oh, I heard, cause y'all only see pieces of it. But another conversation was, um, well, I, I heard that you and Sonny cool, that y'all friends. So wow. it's like the double standard of it all just be funny to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I really, in that moment wanted to bring it to the for the, to the forefront and call it up for what it was because at the end of the day you over here doing x y and z posting my children too um i've never posted yours um i don't move like that I, like i said yesterday on my life i can't even tell y'all i don't even talk to the bear that much at all like we rarely even talk at all most of the time we do talk i want some brisket hey y'all open today y'all got some brisket left before i drive up there take a moment to fix my plate or right. my population students in town they want to come eat there send me the bill because i'm gonna cover it like, I don't talk to him on a personal level like that. He has called and asked me a question before, advice on something. I told him, hey, this is who you might want to talk to. I've asked him a question on advice before. He told me, hey, this might be who you want to talk to. But he and I don't talk that much. So to have an expectation of some sense of a loyalty that you don't exhibit is weird for me. And I wanted to call it out to the front. I know that's right. Wait, but Mel, this one, can I just ask this one real quick? And then <laughs> I will ask no more. Okay. Um, how do you feel about Nell saying that you have the big head because of your fans? Well, my question will be, um, I kind of addressed it yesterday. <laughs> I, I missed it. Well, what's That's your right. answer? <laughs> I'm laughing at myself, y'all. I promise I'll be laughing all the time. Okay. So <laughs> I kind of addressed it yesterday. But my question really would be, show me a time with you where I've shown um, that I have a big head. Okay. Um, where? When? That's kind of, and I can't wait for the second half of the season because I get into that. I'm, I'm more on some like, oh, that's what you're saying? How so? Okay, prove it. Okay, when? And, oh, I, I, exactly, because you pull it mm -hmm. stuff out. Like, yep. I, that now where it's like you ain't just gonna say something without backing it up um and that's definitely what i was on the second half of the season um me using the jesus and judas jesus and judas thing at the table and the betrayal as an example as an analogy that's not saying i didn't in no shape form or fashion said i'm jesus never did don't think that i am because we all know that's one person without flaw i have my flaws so no never said it i to be honest with you can i be honest yes. um i think she was fed that line what that's what i think okay. she even looked uncomfortable saying it. she didn't even, she she laughing because she don't even believe what she's saying but Mel, I'm going to say, I feel like she did believe what she was saying. Roll, roll it back when you guys were sitting on the beach. And I don't know if, the, if it was the editing or not. Even though she had on sunglasses, I watched her face. I even paused it to just see her face while you was talking. Her face well, was we, You know what? Up. We had a, long com a lot of conversation on the beach. We had a long conversation on the beach. Um, I am not in the editing room, so I don't okay. know how that went. Um, but what I will say is even her, she's never said anything like that to me in real life. Okay. Copy so that. that so never has said that in real life to me, never has insinuated that in real life to me. So I'm gonna have to roll with you know now, and could she have chosen not to say it? Absolutely. Absolutely she could have chosen not to say it, right? But I'm gonna say maybe she was push to okay. say it. Then I'll leave it like that. Okay, okay, we're gonna leave it like that. And it also lines up with the narrative that has tried to be used this whole season, which is that my followers this, my followers that. So I'm gonna say yes, yeah, it was it was pushed. Absolutely. 
Okay, I just been sad eyeing her this season. That's all. Um, and yeah. I, I just been and watching. Look, y'all, y'all free to side eye who y'all want to side eye. I'm not saying <laughs> don't side eye people. I'm just saying I'm also gonna keep it a buck too. Yes. And in that in that moment right there, I don't I don't feel that. Right. And I said on my live last night, I said about, I know you had just said what she was trying to compare what you said. And she said, uh, that's, you was getting a big head because of that, comparing yourself <laughs> to Jesus and all that. And I broke that down in my life for the, my subscribers. And I said, I don't think that's what Mel was trying to do. I just, I don't, I don't think that's what she was trying to do. Oh. So I agree with you on that. Yeah. I mean, listen, like I said, listen, like I said, like I said, um, it lines up with a narrative that has been pushed. Um, so when I heard it, I was like, mm, right. But, um, you know, time will tell y'all will see a lot of stuff play out as well, especially the next season, because your girl clocked in. Okay. Your girl clocked in. Your girl clocked all the way in. Dr. Heavenly has been throwing a lot of shade your way.